Hello lovely friends! Welcome back to my channel! Today's video is an art supply haul, which is something that I've never done before, mostly because I've just never had money. <laughs> I recently got paid for an illustration gig that I did a long time ago, and it was only like $132, so nothing spectacular, but that's enough for me to walk into an art store and feel like I can buy more than an eraser and a pen, you know what I mean? It's enough for like a paintbrush, an eraser, and a pen. It's so much of a difference! I kind of told myself, you know what Gabby, you have been working so damn hard lately. Lately. All you've been doing is work, 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 like more than Rihanna works, and you deserve to just go out and treat yourself to things to make more work. And that's exactly what we did. All right, patches. 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 You need to make up your damn mind, patches. Where do you want to be, patches? You want to get your fat ass out of the frame? So I'm just gonna go through and show you all of the things that I was able to buy, and I hope you guys like this video! So I went to Blake's in Pasadena because at that store they were having like a really amazing paint sale where everything was at least like 40% off. The first things that I got were these two Liquitex heavy body acrylic paints, one in yellow orange azo, which what, what the fuck color is that, and the second one in vivid lime green. Two colors that normally I would never get. Ever. In order to step out of my comfort zone and see how I could push the boundaries of my art, I wanted to force myself <laughs> to get colors that I, I just, I, I don't know, I don't know what to do with these. However, I'm not that mad at it because it's still paint and just, oh, when you unscrew that newly, newly fresh cap and you just fucking look at this shit. Just, oh, 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 it's so new. Oh, it's so new! I'm fine. Okay, the next thing I got, I know I just said that I was trying to step away from bright colors and vivid colors, however, I've never had a product like this, especially paint-wise in such a large quantity. I got this Golden Acrylics Fluorescent Orange. It's just so beautiful. I figured that I could make some really, really eye-catching, beautiful poppy pieces. I mean, look at how bright that is. The fluorescent paints that I've seen at other art stores, they're very watery and they're also not very opaque. So I'm assuming that this paint, because it's so thick and because it's a really good brand, like Golden's a great brand of acrylic paint, I'm only gonna have to use like one or two layers of this paint as opposed to like eight or ten layers, you know what I mean? I also decided to invest in some gouache paint and I got these acrylic gouache paints in pale lavender and magenta. I guess something that I should have done before I went to the store was like mark down everything that I would have needed and like decided what I wanted beforehand, but no. <laughs> no, no. Those are not things that happen when it comes to me. No, no, no. It's just buy everything that looks pretty. I also got two Windsor Newton watercolor paints in the colors Burnt Umber and Windsor Yellow. Fun fact about these two watercolor paints. Okay, so basically what ha happened was I had these paints in the basket that I was carrying around the store, but because the paints are so small, they kept falling through the little slits in the basket, and I was getting so tired of picking them up and putting them back in, and I didn't want to put them in my hand because I was also carrying things in my other hand, so I wound up putting them in my overalls pocket. I came home last night, and I reached into my overalls pocket thinking that I was getting some chapstick, and I realized that it was the paints. I'm not saying that I accidentally stole the paints. What I'm saying is that you you should you should come to your own uh, own conclusion. And that Blix should maybe have better security. So those were all the paints I got and then I started moving over into the drawing materials. I got a whole bunch of these, well, <laughs> a whole bunch to me means like more than two because I have no money and I'm usually just poor, but I got four <laughs> of these Blix Studio Copic style brush dual tip marker things. Blah, blah, blah. English, English, English. I couldn't afford real Copic markers because those are like $4.35 a marker and I just, uh uh, I ain't got a budget. These are basically store brand markers. However, they still have the same like concept behind them the dual end, the brush tip. They look pigmented. When I tested them out in the store, they were fine. 
So if you guys want, I can do a video of me doing like a test drawing with these just so that I can review the product and you can see like how well they work. I just got them in magenta, sand, terracotta, and lilac. I also got these random brand markers that I have never in my life seen before. However, the list regular price for these guys was $21 and then on the coupon, it said that they were 20% off the list price. So I was like, a set of five big ass motherfucking markers, whatever the hell these things are? Sure, yes, let's do it. It seems like these are the types of markers that you can connect to other markers in order to mix colors and in order to like create your own colors. I'm not so sure. Like if you look closely at the packaging, you can see that some of them just have white tips with zero pigment. And then on the packaging, it also shows like a little icon of the white tip touching a colored tip. <laughs> this sounds so pornographic of a white tip touching a colored tip and then just, oh my God. Wow. <laughs> I always pass by this one section at the Blix art store full of these types of very beautiful, bright, chalky looking drawing pencils. And I decided to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of them. You know how like different uh, artist YouTubers like Juicy Ink and like the, the rest, <laughs> the rest of them draw with red pencil and then they look like their drawing at the end looks super cool and unified. That's what mommy wants. That's what I want with my life. And I also just got this Stabilo Aqua blah 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 Aqua Aqua Red blah Aqua Relable. Aqua Relable. Aqua Relable. Jesus Christ. Aqua Relable. What the hell is that? Okay. <laughs> I got me the Stabilo Aqua Relable. I got these two itty bitty little wooden panels because they were having a sale on these panels and I believe that it was like $2.68, something around that price for these very small five by seven panels with like one and a half inches of depth to them. And you know what? Most of the pieces that I do are quite large. They're usually like 18 by 24 or larger. So again, it's all about pushing boundaries with this haul. So I think I wanna do some small pieces. Wait, I wanna open it just like, Oh yeah! Oh my god, that's smooth. It's almost furry because it's so smooth. You know like when you touch, okay. You know when you touch a velvet rabbit? <laughs> when you touch a velvet rabbit that's like been sanded down but still has a little bit of velvet on its rabbit coat after the abuse? That's kind of what this feels like. Oh, or, or one of those, um, okay, it feels like a furry leaf. <laughs> I also got three new Tombow markers and these are dual ended markers, one with a fine tip and one with a brush tip. And I use these kinds of markers all the time in my work. One thing that I never do when I go to the store is buy green. <laughs> like ever, green is probably my least favorite color to work with. And I think it's because anything that I paint green or anything that uses green it, it feels so limiting to me. All I can think of when I think of green is nature and plants. I got one brush and I, I wish I could have gotten more because I don't have a lot of really good brushes at all. I have a lot of like student grade synthetic, like meh brushes. This is a Winsor Newton Cotman Filbert brush and this is going to be great for watercolor painting. I also got a basic bitch pencil sharpener just cause it's important to keep your pencils sharpened. Oh my god, Gabby, you're so interesting. Tell us more. <laughs> I don't fucking know. It's a pencil sharpener. I got some Yupo paper, which has always seemed really interesting to me. I once saw a professor of mine work with this type of paper back in college, and when I was watching him work with it, I was amazed because it's plastic paper in which everything that you put down stays on the surface. So almost all of your strokes are visible. It's not gonna get absorbed, it's not gonna blend. This is really for people who like are not afraid to work with the strokes that they put down. This is definitely a paper of permanence. And the last product that I got I'm excited about because I looked for this all over the store and I could not find it. I've seen it in a bunch of YouTube videos and I had to ask a clerk to help me figure out where the fuck they put it. This water brush, it's, it's basically a brush that you fill with pigment and water and then it works like 
a pen with a brush stroke. And I've seen this used in a whole bunch of YouTube videos and the marks that people can get with it are just, they're beautiful. That was everything that I got. I will have all of the prices listed down below. And if you wanna take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to become part of the Gabby Possible family, I would love you forever and that would make me so, so, so happy. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video, okay? Bye. In fact, I am sitting on a small plastic trash can because I don't have a chair. Ah, 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 no! No! Oh, I'm falling! I'm falling! Ah. Trash can! Don't fail me now! Oh shit! Oh girl! Ah. This is not big enough for my ass! Oh why? Okay. <laughs>